So we will talk, talk about networking now. I'll go into little more detail. In networking, so you network, right? You are happy now, your computer is network, but you, you are exposed to problems in network, right? When you are alone in, as a single server, nobody is going to touch your data. Like a lot of people try to steal your data. A lot of people have activities. A lot of, sometimes people complain, my network is very slow, right? So a lot of new problems you will come across, right? Those are all that you didn't have before, right? But you will like, come across a lot of new problems. So we have to troubleshoot the problems which happens in the network, troubleshooting the user or user related problems, right? If suppose this guy says, I cannot access the server, right? Then you have to find out. Why that guy cannot access the server? Can I access? <coughs> yeah, I can access. He can't access. So problem may be in this side. Or problem may be, maybe I'll ask him to check the next computer he has in his same room. Or that also cannot connect, right? That means he has a problem in his network, right? Okay, or maybe if I, if I have still doubt, okay, third computer in, a, in, a, in the same network, but in another room that also has the same problem, then I'm sure network is having an issue, right? Like I have to isolate the problem. I should not immediately take the screwdriver and uh, thing and start doing work, right? You have to use, your, you have to find out the root cause of the problem, right? There are a little, lot of tools there available, even, even software tools, right? Uh, you have commands like ping. What does the ping command do? It will check whether the computer is Computer's network connection is alive. I can pin to that, but I can't tell that to that. Is it possible? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, possible. Why is possible? How is possible? Telnet is not activated. Because telnet service is not started. Hmm. Okay. I can I can tell I can SSH I can tell that also. So I can pin I can tell that also, but I can't SSH. That means SSH is disabled, disabled, something like that, right? So I tell that SSH, all, all those things work in the application layer of the OSI module, the top layer. Uh, ping works in the third layer, network layer, right? Right. So your problem is in the network layer, uh, then your problem, if your problem is fine up to the network layer if you can ping. But if your problem, you cannot tell that, that means your problem is in the application layer. Application layer, you have to check in your computer, so in, in your server. In the layer three, maybe your router has problem, right? Maybe your network card has a problem. Maybe network cable has a problem, right? So we use ping, and if I want to continuously ping, I can use ping minus s. Why should I continuously ping? What is the reason? Why I should ping continuously? Did you see how your connection is? Uh, continuously, because if one person is complaining, sometimes it connects, sometimes it doesn't connect. You want to see if it drops packages. Yeah, whether it drops packages, or, or the continuous connection for this drop will come. Continuous connection is slow. Yeah, whether, whether the ping is slow, or maybe uh, continuously pinging, okay. Maybe sometimes not working, sometimes working, maybe, right? So those type of things. So it will continuously keep on pinging until you stop by control C, okay. Then I have another command called spray. <coughs> what is spray? It sends, it sends some packets and checks how many are dropped and, and how many are gone. gone. But spray is a secure, spray is not no, normally no. enabled, right? Because people don't want uh, somebody to use spray on uh, their servers. So you have to enable spray on the receiving side. If you are spraying that machine, you enable there and then try if you want. Then it will show how many packets are dropped. This one shows how many packets were delivered, uh, sorry, uh, sent and how many packets were dropped. Then you know whether it is 100% good or sometimes 100% good, sometimes not good. Or dropping is dropping, most packets are dropping. And you get some information about that. Then I want to see some network traffic. How, how, how many things are there in my frame? What packets are there? What packets are going through my uh, about what information is going through <coughs> my frame? What size is my frame? I want to know all this information. From where to where the signals are going? Why this guy is uh, trying to access that that guy? Uh, two computers, right? So I have to, I like to know all those things. For that, this has a very good command called snoop. No other operating system access. 
such number a x has similar thing but not exactly like this but this is snoop if i say snoop then i will see the network traffic from my network card if suppose i have multiple network cards then i can select snoop and select the network card sometime i may have multiple network cards right this is my server i have a network card here network card here network card here this is going to accounting network this is going to sales network this is going to marketing network right so three network cards i have right so if i want to check i am i am checking the traffic here so i can select only this card if this card is qfe one okay i can select only that card okay so sometimes i have problems with dhcp i may have more than one dhcp server in my network right if you have more than one dhcp server and if they are trying to give the same ip address range then you will have headache right right you will have problems so if i want to snoop only dhcp i can snoop only dhcp traffic if i want to snoop only up i can there are lot of broadcast going in the network i want to check the broadcast right when there are a lot of broadcasts going on the network that is a headache for you why when the broadcasts are more the collisions also will be more a lot of packets are sent everybody is trying to talk to everybody like in the class you are trying to talk to him he is trying to talk to him he is trying to talk to him everybody is trying to talk to each other so there will be a lot of collisions of packets packets will collide and will get destroyed right so you lose your information again tcp has to send again the same uh, data right the component of the data yeah. packet to Okay, send you it again, right? So then you are you are waiting for the network is more, right? So I can check up or up, right? So all those things, or maybe I suspected something and I want to analyze later. So I want to put this output into a file. So put the output into a file. Then I will analyze this file later, right? Whenever I analyzing or whenever I am viewing, I can view in two formats. one format is summary format and other format is frame by frame format right so all these options are there with snoop right so it's a very good command to see the network activities what is happening in the network with regards to the packets traveling over the network okay in all the computers there are there is one card that is called loopback 127 network address it has the network address 127.0.0.0 so this is the address network address of a loopback of a loopback by default it has one okay dot one last If I want to check the local network connectivity, I can use this ping 127.0.0.1. If it is pinging locally, the ping ping is working locally, right? That ping local host or local host. If any type ping local host, also it will work because when you open your etc host file. If this computer IP address is, if this computer's IP address is 192.168.05, uh, it will have an entry here. Uh, first 127.0.0.1. What will be next to that? Local host. Okay. And there will be another entry called 192.168.0.5, and it will have an entry called log host. These two entries will be there. log host is the ip for the ip address what you gave right for your computer right then uh, this is for your local loop right so you can ping any one of them right this is this is the lowest ping you can do and also ping command is in the usr spin directory it's not in bin directory in solaris right So sometimes you may not. If you say ping, it may not work. So you have to go to that directory and do it. So if you ping this, if it is working fine, 
that means your ping command is fine. <laughs> Maybe somebody disabled that or deleted it, we don't know it. Okay. So that is working. Okay. Then you ping, ping your neighbor, not, not the same machine. Right? You ping your neighbor to see whether your co computer is connected to the network. If you want to see what type of packets it is sending, snoop. Right? We have all the commands. If you want to see any packets dropped when you're sending something to a server, spray. Right? Spring is a standard command in all the Unix Linux. Spray is the standard command in all Unix Linux. Okay. So now there are some files also involved. One file is etc host that you know already, right? In the etc host, I have a list of all the networked computers and their names. So I have 192.168.0.15, Solaris 15. 192.168.0.223, Solaris 23, like that. So you have to update that. So when you update that, whenever you want to ping, you can use these names rather than using the IP address. Okay. Otherwise, you have to use the IP address, right? Okay. So we assume that this is the default. That means when you install Solaris, you store the computer. My default network card is this. Then the computer will ask for the IP address. You give the IP address for this. Okay. So this is your default network card in your system. Computer will automatically create, automatically update this file. It will do it in this file. And it will automatically do something else. What will it do? It will update another file called etc host dot qfe e1 <coughs> this file is automatically created so inside this file you can either have computer name most probably they will have computer name solaris file or so the computer name puts inside that here also you will have the computer name solaris file and logos comes after that, right? We talk about logos later when you talk about syslog facility. Okay. Um, just one question. Uh, yeah. The, if you able to ping on uh, computer or host computer and you not able to spray, so what is the what might be the cause of problem? If you can't spray, that means that in that computer spray is not enabled. Oh. So you have to start that service. I told you last week, R users minus A, when you type, you don't see the yeah. atlas. So oh. did you troubleshoot that problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was the cost? Oh, yes, spray. No, what was the cost for that? Spray, I think. No, 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 it spray. Okay. I told you that when you go to Solaris 23 and when you type R users minus A, did you see atlas? No. 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 Why? I asked you to troubleshoot. Did you troubleshoot? Yeah, we tried troubleshooting, but we... Okay, but when you type R users minus A, did you observe in your computer, yeah. it is sending a daemon. What is the daemon it is sending, broadcasting over the network? R users D, version 3, version 3, and R users D, version 2. Version 3 is for the Solaris 10 machines, version 2 is for old machines. So it will check all the machines in the network, whether Solaris 2.5 is there, Solaris 10 is there, everything. So whatever responding to our, uh, our users' uh, D daemon, they will be shown. 